Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Happy hair masking everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, it's been a summer of fun. It's been a summer of a lot of work. I have done way too much work. I've had a little bit of fun, but I've done a lot of work. And it's been a summer of trying to, you know, do hair care and care for my hair and hair masking as well. Now, during the summer, a lot of fun in the sun, a lot of swimming, a lot of, uh, you know, harsh sun damage, things like that on the hair. And I'm a licensed cosmetologist. And, you know, um, I only really recommend what works for my hair. I could say, hey, this works for my hair. Give it a try. It might work for you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to push the envelope and, and press all the very expensive salon products and just kind of force feed them down people's throat. And the reason I say that is a shame because so many people do that. And uh, it's not just hairdressers and hairstylists and hair artists that do that. It's, it's a lot of other people as well. So, but anyhow, I want to talk about this hair mask. This is the Garnier. I buy, when I know a product works for me and I like it, I buy a lot of it. I always do that. I will add like three or four, you know, pro, three or four bottles of the same thing to my cart. I always do that. Anyhow, this is the Garnier, Garnier, Garnier. I don't know how to say it. I'm not affiliated with the company. I'm not sponsored by this company. I'm not hooked up with the company. It is what it is. Okay, so this is the Garnier or Garnier Fructus, Fructus uh, Color Vibrancy Treat One Minute Hair Mask. And it says it has, let's see. Um, okay, it says it's what? 98% naturally derived ingredients. And it has, does this say goji extract, like goji berry? Is that a G? Yeah, I think it says goji, you guys. I think that's what's in it. Okay, yeah, it looks like goji berry extract. And it says, what's it say? Uh, no silicones, no parabens, no natural, uh, no artificial colorants, which is good. It's vegan formulation. That's really good as well and biodegradable formula okay now let me show you the ingredients real quick and i'm going to tell you how it worked for me can you see some of the ingredients there okay so been using this this summer as a hair mask absolutely love it it says it's a one minute hair mask okay guys come on i have a lot of damage i've done to my hair i'm a licensed cosmetologist i abuse my own hair hair care is my name it's my game yes i go overboard abusing my hair but I will say one minute for me, one minute is not going to cut the mustard. It's not going to cut the rug. It's not going to do the trick for me. One minute is just not going to do it. So I know it says one minute. Now, however, this one minute treatment might work for you in, in one minute, in that less amount of time. For me, realistically thinking, it's more like not one minute is 15 minutes for me. Basically, any type of hair mask I use, I have to definitely use it and leave it on my hair, in my hair, for 15 minutes minimum, okay? And three or four hours max, but I never really have time to go no three or four hour hair masking. I just don't have the time to do it. Wish I did. The world's not perfect. I work too much. But anyhow, um, I, like, I like the... Um, okay, I like this product, yes. I will say the smell is very strong. Uh, it's very strong, strongly fragranced. However, the smell does diminish once it is rinsed from the hair. It doesn't really linger. It doesn't stick around. It doesn't become a nuisance, okay? And I like that the smell does go away. However, when you're using the product, the smell is, it's fairly strong. I have a scent sensitivity. I have crazy bad sinus problems. Now, if you are not sensitive to smells, you're not gonna have like that same issue, okay? But I have to be as descriptive as I can and talk about smells, whether or not they're overpowering or if they bother me or not. It does bother me. Once I rinse my hair, it goes away. I am good, just being 100% truthful, 100% honest. But like I said, I have a scent sensitivity issue. I have crazy bad sinus problems. It is what it is with the smell, you know what I mean? If you don't have any of that, you're not gonna have an issue. So anyhow, I just wanna show you the texture and what it looks like. Okay, it is, whoop, and we're spilling it here, okay? I'm just gonna kinda show you real quick and probably pop the lid back on it. But anyhow, starting to slide right out of the jar. Um, 
It's thick, it's rich, it's creamy, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing, it's emollient. It works beautifully and fantastically for my tangles, my knots, my gnarls, my uneven hair texture. It helps smooth my frizziness. It helps lay my hair down. Uh, like I said, I have to go in for a minimum of 15 minutes. I could go no less than that because if I do, the product's not going to do enough for my hair. I need that extra help, okay? So I've used this several different ways. I've used it for a few months now and just keep repurchasing it. Um, I use it several different ways. I can just shampoo my hair, gently towel dry my hair, put on a disposable shower cap with this, you know, mask in my hair, on my hair, then 15 minutes, I'm good. I rinse it off. I'm good to go. Or I also use it this way as well. A um, clean, hot watered, wet washcloth. Put that on over the top of it over the top of my hair and then put my disposable shower cap on and that way that hot wet washcloth just forces the heat and forces the conditioner to penetrate into the hair it forces it into the hair shaft and into the cuticle and it forces that conditioning effect which when I do that my hair feels like spun silk beautiful with this product okay that's the second way I use it third way I use it is with um, heat under under my hair dryer, I do that. It works beautiful like that as well. Or I could just put my disposable shower cap on, run a handheld hair dryer over my hair for a few minutes, and that works well as well. You know what I mean? So there's several different methods or remedies depending on the level of moisturization you need. If you need full blown moisturization, you know, I recommend under a hair dryer or using a handheld hair dryer or using that hot wet washcloth and then the disposable shower cap on top of that okay that's how i recommend it uh me i need i need all the help i can get this summer i've been doing a lot of fun in the sun a lot of swimming outdoor workouts exercising biking hiking rollerblading roller skating i have done just everything uh you name it sweat aerobics weightlifting <laughs> All uh, I've been all over you guys so and you know things like that are very harsh on our hair as well uh, even things we don't think about like indoor heating that's very harsh on our hair that's during the winter time when we use furnaces and heaters and indoor heating but even the indoor central air conditioning like my house has a really cold central air conditioning in my house and just even the air conditioning blowing on your hair, that can even be damaging to our hair. There are so many things that could be damaging to the hair that we don't think about, you know, but it, it exists, you know. And I love this hair mask. A little strong of the fragrance. Like I said, it does die down and go away once you rinse it off. It doesn't seem to residually linger on the hair, which I love that. Um, I love this stuff. Just these El Cheapo products. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the formulation of the ingredients. Just... Did they work divine for me? They work absolutely divine. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Happy hair masking. Bye, gorgeous.